Hello and welcome to the Driving.ca weekly video news update. I'm Alex Reed, and here's what's new in car news. Jeep revealed the all-new Wagoneer concept this week, reviving a nameplate that's been missing from the lineup since the early 90s. The concept will preview the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer vehicle that is set to arrive sometime in the summer of 2021. American buyers can expect the vehicle to start around $60,000 for the Wagoneer and top out around $100,000 for a fully loaded Grand Wagoneer. Canadian pricing will come later on. As for the styling, we're not sure how we feel about it yet. The grille is reminiscent of the original Wagoneer, while the rest of the body is pretty much standard box-on-box -box SUV fare. There are a few cool touches, however, such as the LEDs in the grille, teak wood in the roof rails and headlights, and 3D printed elements in the 24-inch wheels. Whether those things will make it from concept to production remain to be seen. Powertrain options are still up in the air for the production model, but the concept featured a plug-in hybrid setup. A traditional gasoline-only powertrain will likely be available as the debut engine. Being a Jeep, there will obviously be four-wheel drive. The Wagoneer will have a choice of three available 4x4 systems and a four-corner quadra-lift air suspension. Next up is the Mercedes S-Class for 2021, which features more power, more tech, and more car. The latest S-Class is larger yet thanks to its new hybrid steel aluminum structure, where 50% of the body is now made of aluminum and it's up to 60 kilograms lighter while having better rigidity. The car is wider and longer and gets a longer wheelbase. It's up to 3,106 millimeters for the regular model and 3,216 millimeters for the long wheelbase variant. The trunk is also larger with 550 liters of space. The 48 volt mile hybrid system is needed for emissions reasons, but also to power all of the electrical systems in the car, such as the 19 electric motors in each of the front seats, 37 motors in the climate control system, the 1750 watt Burmeister 4D surround sound system with two amplifiers and 30 speakers, plus the four wheel steering and the adaptive suspension. Power numbers are yet to be confirmed, but we're guessing that the base Turbo 6 should make 429 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque while the V8 should make 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. An EQ boost adds another 21 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque during acceleration. On top of all that, there will be a plug-in hybrid model and an all-electric EQS even further down the road. The 2021 S-Class will launch in Canada in the first quarter of 2021. Robert Downey Jr. has had another vehicle built by Speedcore, this time a 1974 BMW 3.0 CS. The fascia of the beautiful Beamer has barely been changed, except for the removal of the awful US spec bumpers, replaced with a carbon fiber chin spoil a la BMW Batmobile. Most of the chrome has been swapped out for titanium grey painted trim, while an unconventional grey wood adorns the wraparound trim piece. Inside the cabin is a sedate color scheme featuring earth tone leather and grey wood accents, including the recovered Nardi steering wheel. The rear seats have been removed to make the 3.0 CS a two-person grand tourer, and in their place is fitted luggage. There's also a Yeti cooler in the trunk, which has been trimmed in the same leather as the interior. Under the hood is an S38 straight 6 from an E34 generation M5, which would have made about 311 horsepower in stock form, but we're assuming that Speedcore fettled with that a little bit as well. The engine is paired to the stock 4-speed automatic, which might seem like a crime in this vehicle until you remember that Robert Downey Jr. already has a madly modified Mustang with a 6-speed manual and a supercharged 302. Kia finally shared some details on the new K5 nameplate it's bringing to Canada to replace the Optima, beginning with the 2021 model year on sale this fall. Four trim levels will be available at four prices in Canada. The LX all-wheel drive for $29,595, the EX all-wheel drive for $32,595, the GT line all-wheel drive for $35,995, and the GT for $39,995. We've already seen the vehicle in other markets sporting its angular style and wild headlight design. But inside the cabin is an 8-inch high-resolution color touchscreen with split-screen functionality and available satellite radio. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard for the 8-inch display, while an available 10.25-inch touchscreen adds server-based available navigation with real-time traffic data, as well as a new multi-connection Bluetooth and connected user profiles. All trims but the GT have a 1.6-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine producing 180 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque, connected to an all-new 8-speed automatic transmission with available all-wheel drive. The top-of-the-line GT trim features a 2.5-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder that produces 290 horsepower and 311 pound-feet of torque, paired to an 8-speed wet dual-clutch transmission and driving only the front wheels. So there's your top stories for the week. I'm Alex Reed for Driving.ca. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.